Hello everybody, Kelvin here and today's video is going to be very quick. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on the network simulator from Cisco. Now once you've purchased this from the Pearson View store you and you've installed everything you will be presented with a page like this. Now working on your CCNA 200-120 you obviously have the option to take the exam as one or you can take the exam in two halves so you do your CCNT first or your ICND one and you do your ICND two. So at the minute I'm currently on the ICND one and if we click on that folder within that folder we've got other folders. So as you can see we've got skills builder which is a set of tasks or activities that allow you to gain um, experience with commands and the command line as you can see there. Now then you move on to subnetting exercises uh, just before I move on to that you know there is a lot more within each of these folders I just wanted to give you a quick you know rundown on this so you could see the benefits of this network simulator and decide for yourself whether you want to buy it or not. Now we all know subnetting is a big pain in the bum and we also know how important it is on your Cisco CCNA exam. Now practice and practice and practice is the best method to get used to subnetting and IP addressing. Um, and what better than to have it in the network simulator. So in here you can see that we've got a load of subnetting we can go through here and it's designed to make you a lot quicker in working out subnets etc ready for your certification exam. Address rejections, route selection, uh, summaries, VLSM and we also have the IPv6 so there's a lot to be on within there then we've got configuration scenarios which I'm guessing is the real world scenario um, configurations which you'll be asked to configure and last but not least you've got troubleshooting you will be doing a lot of troubleshooting labs uh, port security, you've got NAT in there which is uh, an ob objective on the exam so in my eyes it is well worth buying this software uh, and make use of it to do the best you can in your certification exam. The ICN do, uh, I, sorry, the ICND2 is exactly the same but obviously with different topics. So I'll just give you a quick rundown. So I'll click on one we've already completed and you just go to the bottom right and start lab and this is what you presented with once it loads so you've got your overview and your tasks in the right hand side and you've got the command line and the topology on the left hand side so you are asked to enter answers as you go down and enter commands too and you just do that by clicking on there em for enable and so on and then you just go through it as you know as if it was a proper router switch or whatever device you're using so as i say i do think it's more than worth it buying this network simulator i just wanted to do this video because before i'd purchased this software i'd not been able to see what it was all about for myself before purchasing it so i wanted to give those that have not yet purchased the software the chance to see what it's about um, and hopefully entice you to buy the software because I'm sure it'll come in handy somewhere or another and probably help you pass your CCNA.